Welcome back to Waters Ironworks. We are doing another book review this week, so it'll be a pretty short video. If you'd like to see the full write-up on this book review or any of my other book reviews, I'll put a link to both the book review video series as well as the website that I've got where I rank all of the different books in my blacksmithing collection. Uh, we're focused today on a, an amazing um, book for beginner blacksmiths. It's by Lorelei Sims, The Backyard Blacksmith. Um, this was one of the first books that I got. Um, I give it a five out of five stars if you're a new blacksmith for, for a couple different reasons. Number one, it's a cheap book. Um, you can find this book a lot of times for under 15 bucks, under 10 bucks sometimes even. We've got a, a half price bookstore here in Austin that I see this all the time. Um, and for, for the value that you're getting out of it, it is a, almost an impossible book to beat for a beginner blacksmith. So if you are on a budget, you're looking for one book out there to help get you started, I would highly consider Lorelei Sims, The Backyard Blacksmith. Um, she does a great job with the instructions on the book. To give you an example of what you're gonna get in this book and why it's so great, you've got great, big, beautiful color pictures in it. Lorelei also has little call outs throughout the book, giving you tips and tricks, helping emphasize areas. And so you get this combination of pictures, very well written content, the call outs where you need to, you know, it, it gives you that extra hint to take you to the next level. Um, and some really good stuff in there. This is a section on uh, tool making. You can see here, twisting bar. This was one of the very first tools, we'll, get some zoom ins. This was one of the very first tools that I ever made. Simple little tool in order to help you twist uh, hot steel, essential skill of a blacksmith. Um, but being able to see that, see how it's done is always great. We will be making one of the projects out of this book. And this is another one of the reasons I love the book so much. We'll take a look at doing this stakes for glass vessels project. And what you can see is that for each project, she lists the skill level that you need. This is going to be an easy project. What skills are used with page references to it, the suggested material, and then some great photos of the finished project and any of the key steps in the project. Um, there's a number of projects in here that all work the same way. As a beginning blacksmith, being able to have that kind of reference, is this going to be easy or hard? You may not know getting into a project. Um, she helps you out with that and then being able to glance back to the exact page information on the skills that you'll need for this project uh, make it great. So again, um, there, there's a handful of books out there for a beginner blacksmith that I give five stars to. Uh, this is one of them. It's the cheapest of them. If you are looking for that first blacksmithing book, uh, please consider this book. Uh, if you want a link to it, I've got a link, uh, an Amazon affiliate link that I'll put down in the, the subsection um, in the text. Uh, feel free to click on that, but I highly recommend this book. Thanks so much, and next week we'll take a look at that uh, glass holder that you can use out in your garden from this book. Thanks, and happy forging.